guys, my name is Isabella and I'm currently in Canada in front of the beautiful Parliament of Canada and the National Arts Centre and you are watching Farm for Louis. Boom! Good morning guys, it's just gone 6am, we're leaving our hotel and we're heading to meet the rest of the production team in Abidjan, which is like an hour away. Um, I did not sleep much, I slept like an hour. How did you sleep Andy? Slept alright. Yeah? Slept about four hours. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's good. And uh, I think, I think we've got like a three hour bus journey once we get to Abidjan, so I'm hoping I can sleep a little bit there as well. Here's our taxi. Okay, merci. 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 Dropping off the other passenger before we head off. Au revoir. Au revoir. with the production team, we're now jumping in some other vehicles and we're heading off. Okay, this is Daryl, he's part of the team. Where are we heading today, Daryl? We're heading off to Ganyua. Ganyua. And then, yeah, we're gonna um, stay there, stop in the hotel, and then maybe head out to some cocoa farms later on. Nice, let's do it. How far is it? Uh, it'll be a couple of hours. Okay, you ready for some fun, Andy? Um, yeah, fun with Andy. <laughs> Guys, these are our armed guards that have been escorting us in our convoy over here. So no one messes with us. So we've just arrived at our hotel. I pretty much slept for the whole journey. Andy, how long were we driving for, bro? Uh, four hours. Four hours? Yeah, you slept. Nice. I think I slept the whole time. Just sitting down with some of the crew. Lunch is served. We've got vegetable soup, some fried plantain. I'm quite excited about this. I love plantain. We're now heading off on a little recce to a cooperative nearby. Right, we're just meeting all the farmers. Bonjour. All of these farmers we're just shaking hands with belong to a co cooperative of farmers. So we're just gonna have a little look inside this place, learn a little bit more about it. Is this all the cocoa beans in here? Wow. So this gets shipped to Abidjan? Yeah. Cocoa beans? But you can't eat, you can't eat these, can you? Well, it's not bad, you can break the... Uh, and then you can eat this nib inside. So you can break that and then nibble that. Oh yeah, it really does, so that's already roasted. No, no, it's not, that's raw. This is raw? That's raw cocoa. Just wow. Just fermented and dried. Okay. Mm. So I'm slowly learning who's who in the production team and everyone that's here, and I'll be introducing you guys to them over the next couple of days. Um, I feel completely out of it. I think, I think as much as I try to overcome jet lag, I, I'm still maybe on uh, Californian time, which is annoying. So I've just been grabbing little um, little bits of sleep like on a journey here after lunch uh, but I'm, I'm determined to stay awake for the rest of the day now and we're just going to a few locations to recce how we're going to be filming the documentary over the next couple of days so they're just double checking the locations and chatting to people and all that kind of stuff.
Well, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about this place and how it all works and uh, how the farmers do stuff together when we come back here in a couple of days. Um, this was just a really short visit to meet the guys. Right, we just got our coffees and I'm sitting down with the team. All right, guys, we're just chatting through the plans for the next couple of days. I'm going to be hanging out with these guys, learning a bit about um, more traditional productions. It's still quite interesting. Guys, these are bats flying around. Look at these. With the beans that are yeah, almost I can, chopped. I can, I can, I can. I, I can't get over these bats. <laughs> Aren't they just crazy? Weird. They That's probably really travel weird. like they travel miles every night. I think they go like miles and miles and miles, do their thing. And well, yeah, what are they doing? Just going, stretching their wings, going, going for a little bit of flight for food, I guess. Um, so the film is set in the Ivorian community of Zibyalkro, which has taken me quite a while to learn, <laughs> and we'll get you working with Natan so you know how to yeah, pronounce that everything was correctly. Was yeah, I need to, I need to get the pronunciations correct, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so they have people who come in and like tr train groups of people from lots of villages who then go to their villages and then go and... We're not asking them to do anything they don't normally do. Yeah. So this, it, it's obviously just sort of inviting them in and they didn't do their normal thing. So what you do. Yeah. So what this essentially covers is it covers what work is appropriate for children and how bringing women into the four-point workforce can responsibly bridge the labour gap. But so here, for okay, each of the yeah. paragraphs in the yeah. script that we've gone through, yeah, we've yeah, written yeah. example yeah. questions. So it's not okay. to put words in your mouth, but okay. it's a bit that we go, okay, yeah. we've talked, we understand what we're doing in that paragraph, in that setup. These are some questions that you might consider. They're prompts to fall back on if you find yeah, yourself it, stuck. Yeah. If um, on the day, is it, is it cool for maybe just to be prompted with some of those? Yeah. So on, because otherwise I'm just like, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. It's yeah. just like, okay, now we want to hear, maybe talk me through on the day. Um, I, mean, I will read through it, but I like it. Like, it's cool, cool, fair cool. to say, guys, that for Louis, that with all these interviews, there's a bit of an intro, yeah. a bit of a summary, and in between where you can interject a little bit of something that your audience, you know, a little bit, yeah. that's your little personal view on it, or okay. is that roughly? It's exactly it's right. Things like, for instance, if we're at the nursery, yeah. getting him just to sort of have a little moment with himself, looking at just... I beg your pardon. Looking at... Looking I didn't think it was that kind of video. I didn't think it was that kind of video. Um, and then the village. These bats are still at it, look. Are these notes for him? Because my note would be, um, don't go... I'm trying to upload my video from my room, I'm having some problems. And then Andy just messaged me saying he's got a, a bird stuck in his room. Andy! Where is it? Keep the sound on there, I can't get it out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> You're gonna have to do your thing, mate. You're good at that sort of thing. How did they get in? Came in through the window. Hello. Hello, birdie. Hello. Oh. Ah, it's so Do <laughs> you reckon chase it through the door or not? You, oh, go on. You've got it. I've got it. Have you got it? Louis, yeah. that is amazing. Yeah. That's shoulder people. Oh, it's so <laughs> tiny. I've got to go and release it into the wild. Is it, is it focused? Yeah. Look at that, guys. Little birdie. He's probably terrified right now. What's that phrase? A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush? No. <laughs> What's that about? I don't know what it is. Okay. Let's, right, let's take him outside, mate. Okay. Shall I take, throw him out the window? Yeah. Alright. See you later, Mr. Bird. Can you see this? Bye. There he goes. He's, he's been Bye, in here for mate. about an hour. Oh. That's cute, isn't it? That's cute. We are heading out to dinner. <laughs> I think it's walking distance, but uh, it's better to drive, apparently, around there. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonsoir. Andy's been feeling a little bit rough today. How are you feeling now, Andy? 
well enough to come out and yeah. lie down for a few hours. I've got a poorly belly, so yeah. I'm not going to eat anything. It's a good idea. I'm just going to watch it run out so every nice time and eat. <laughs> Alright, grabbing some food. Apparently this is a vegetable dish over here. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm just get. I'm... What's this? Chicken. What, what is it? Rice. That's right. Oh, cool, yeah, I'll have some of this. Yeah. That was delicious. Very, very garlicky. So I jump in there? Right, back from dinner. I've got to rest up because we are starting the shooting tomorrow pretty early. Uh, I think we've got to leave here at 7.30 and then we're driving to um, the village that the guys were checking out today. I didn't get a chance to go there. Um, today's been a pretty chilled one. Um, just arriving, doing a little recce, um, kind of talking through what the next few days are going to entail. And uh, I'm quite excited to do something new, you know. I haven't done something quite like this before. I'm still a little bit nervous that I won't be able to be as natural on camera when they're filming me with the big cameras as I am with you guys uh, holding my camera like this, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to doing something new. Right, I, I'm gonna rest, sleep, and uh, hopefully I've got lots of energy tomorrow morning. I need to be on it. Catch you then. Peace out, enjoy life, live the adventure. Boom.